Kalu, I am very disappointed in the fact that you destroyed part of Sesame Street and then snuck off from school to Chuck E. Cheese. You are meeting with your therapist tomorrow. And that's final. Now go to sleep. Good night. And no waking up at 2 or 3 a.m. tomorrow. Good night. I said, no planning to get up at 2 or 3 a.m. Now go to sleep before I have no choice but to say it three times to make you fall asleep like what we did on our trip to Sesame Street. Okay, okay. You win. Nothing will happen. That's good. He's asleep. Life has become more stressful ever since we signed that stop aging contract with Chowet Publishing back in 1993. I finished brushing my teeth, now to get dressed. So, Hazel the cat, Goofy Ben, and Sarah are coming over for a playdate. The three of us are going to watch the entire Thomas and Friend classic series, season 1 through 7. I love classic Thomas. Maybe I can join in. I am enraged over the fact that season 25 is going to be very different than ever before. Now they made it onto a bouncy cartoon that might be even worse than Chuggington. I know. Everyone in Dave Karen and KU's class is upset about that. But there might not be much we can do about it. Let's just hope something miraculous happens to the franchise. Boris and Rosie, we already went over this. I am very sick and tired of hearing about Thomas season 25. If you don't like it, simply don't watch it. If enough people refuse to watch it, Mattel might finally realize what they're doing is wrong and do the right thing. Huh. <sighs> I'm just going to drink some of my special milk from Dairy Farms of Canada. I'm sure gonna miss the realism in the show. I actually prefer Big World Big Adventures of this new trash. <laughs> To your voice. Doris, I'm not trying to sing, but I'm singing in the same chorus over and over again. Help me before I go so crazy, I do the Mario swing your arms. From side to side, come on, it's time to go to the Mario, take one step, and then again, let's do the Mario all together now. Boris, stop, stop, stop. We need to figure out what's going on here. My hair cream package arrived today, but another package showed up yesterday. I thought that package was hair cream. But that arrived today. I wonder who ordered that other pack? I didn't order anything. Har 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 he neither did I. I didn't order anything either. Kalo? Spit it out, son. Ha 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 ha. I ordered the electronic sounds prank pack on Rosie's phone while she was taking a bath, and poured the electronic sounds fluid into your special milk. This is the funniest prank I've ever played. Even funnier than the time I infected your laptop with the memes trojan. Okay dad, here's the bottle that came with the pack, which has reverse liquid, which will change your voice back to normal. Laziness sip. Finally, my voice is back to normal. And we are going to the therapist right now 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 now. We're here for a therapy session, for my son, Kalu. Okay. Please go see Mr. Maxwell at room 32. Thanks. You're welcome.
coming. Hello Kalu family. Please, take a seat. So, how is everyone doing today? We are all enraged, because we had a bad morning. I played a harmless prank on my dad, but then he got real angry at me. Okay. So, Kalu. Why do you like doing things like that? Because normal life is very boring and too dull. I find myself enjoying misbehaving a lot more than behaving even if I get grounded for it. Okay. I understand that. A lot of kids around the world understandably enjoy misbehaving a lot more than behaving. But what about misbehaving do you enjoy? And what makes it special when compared to behaving? Misbehaving is a sense of freedom. Behaving feels like I'm enslaved. I understand that, but do you know why you need to behave? I don't like questions like that. Rules exist to protect you, and, as you behave, you become a better person. But I love being the person I am. Why? Because I've been this way ever since we signed our chat publishing contract in 1993. I was four years old then, and because we signed the contract, I'm still four years old today. I wanna stay four forever. Why do you want to stay four years old forever? Because I'm used to it and don't want to deal with adult problems, and being a kid is wonderful. I understand, but all normal people, like myself, grow up, live a life, and die. You're lucky, because you signed an eternal contract. Eternal contracts are kept hidden, and forbidden. The only people who sign them are people, who coincidentally exist, that literally fit descriptions of ideas that cartoonists come up with. Do you like misbehaving, because you are stuck at four years old? Yes. What's the point of learning if you aren't going to grow up? We told Kayla once, that just because he's stuck at the same age doesn't mean he can't learn anything new. To be honest, and tell the truth. I agree with your mother. Even if you were the same age forever, you could still learn new things. And I wonder, do you ever get tired of misbehaving? Sometimes, but when I do, I want to enjoy myself by watching my favorite shows, but my parents won't let me, because I'm often grounded. It's really hard to stop misbehaving, isn't it? Yes. Well, can you think of something more interesting than misbehaving? The things that are more interesting than misbehaving I'm often not allowed to do them, such as Chuck E. Cheese, or watch my favorite shows, which are owned by Wild Brain. Well, maybe what we should do is find some new things that you might enjoy. And in order to do that, you need to find new things to do. Like joining an extracurricular club. No, no, no. I hate extracurricular clubs. Okay, so I want you to spend some time thinking about other things to do. And you might not like all of them, but you might be able to find something you'll like. Oh, come on. Not another assignment. You're not my teacher. Caillou, I'm just trying to help you. That ain't help. That's work. You have to work to accomplish something. Therapists are supposed to help fix their patients up. You're a lousy therapist, and I don't like working outside of schools. Kalu, that was very rude. Apologize to Mr. Maxwell. No, therapists aren't supposed to be like teachers. They're supposed to help you solve your problems. The only way we can help you is if you cooperate and do what we suggest that will help you. So that's the truth about therapists. I'm afraid so. The reason he's like this may be because the popularity of his TV show and our wealth from it got to his head. Yes, I can understand that. Caillou, if you need to be better, you have to work for it. And you need to start working on improving your attitude, behavior, and choices. If you don't work towards improving yourself, you'll go nowhere, and if you go nowhere, you'll be trapped for all eternity, and you will suffer there forever, going nowhere. I cannot believe that life is all about work, even to make life better. Life is better without work. I hate life as it is. That's it. I've had it. I'm done. I refuse to think again.
destroy the building. That's it. We are about to be list of thanks to you, and you know what else is coming. You're under arrest for property damage. Son, do you realize this is the second time you got us in jail? Yes. If you don't work towards improving yourself, you'll go nowhere, and if you go nowhere, you'll be trapped for all eternity, and you will suffer there forever, going nowhere. Kalu, you always cause trouble, you got us in jail again, aren't you even a little ashamed? No that building deserved it because therapy sessions are useless. Kalo, what the therapist said, is true. The truth is that in order to be a better person, you have to work on it. Working is a part of daily life. But I hate working. Working is a natural part of life. Everyone has to work on something, whether that be at their job, or achieving a goal. We have so much money we don't need to work for anything. Kalo, you are using our wealth as an excuse for all of this behavior. You make us feel ashamed for being rich from your TV show. That's it. You're grounded, grounded, grounded. Go to your room and think about your life, and decide, from your heart, do you want to keep being the person you are right now? Fine. Don't be surprised if I don't change. Boris, what's wrong? I feel like I am too harsh on Kalu. I over-exaggerate his grounding time. And I do that because he stresses me so much I don't know how long to ground him for. So if I say he's grounded for like millions of years, I don't really mean it. I mean he's grounded until he improves his behavior. I understand how you feel. I often did the same thing when grounding Kalu as well. I understand how you feel though. If you don't work towards improving yourself, you'll go nowhere, and if you go nowhere, you'll be trapped for all eternity, and you will suffer there forever to going nowhere. I do wonder how it got to this point, where people tried to help me, but instead I destroyed another building and got my family in jail. Just how? How did I become this person? Well, I guess it all started when I was about two and a half years old, and Rosie was born. I felt so jealous, I felt like hurting Rosie to show that I felt hurt. So I pinched her. Caillou, why did you do that to Rosie? I don't like Rosie. Why not? Rosie doesn't play with me. But she's only a baby. She's just too little to play with you now. I thought doing stuff like that would shock my parents to the point of letting me do what I want. So I used this technique again as a temper tantrum to take me to the circus. Silly old car. Silly. 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 Mwah. Uh, Boy I was sure very unhappy because I wasn't going to the circus. Caillou, stop all this racket. You woke up Rosie. I want you to come downstairs right now. My dad started to get very angry with my tantrums. And eventually he started punishing me but not at first. Eventually. He started telling me I was grounded for millions of years, and later on after the circus I used this technique in the form of bullying to kick Rosie out of my room when she tried to play with me. Stay out. What? Uh -uh. Go away, Rosie. What? Uh -uh. Books are for reading? Not hitting, Caillou. Did you make Rosie cry? No. And these types of actions caused me to become the person I am today. The type of person I don't want to be anymore. The therapist was right. If I keep making the same poor decisions, I'll never go anywhere. I'd be stuck forever. And I was stuck for 30 years. All because I refused to change my behavior. And all other troublemakers are stuck for constantly misbehaving. I will help them however I can. Family, 
I need to talk to you, and it really is important. So, you say you have a change of heart? You've got to believe me. I know I've tried convincing you I'm behaving by lying in a way that manipulated you into believing me. But this time, it's the truth. I don't believe you, Kalo. You've lied about being on your best behavior, and even behaved for six months just to have us take you to Halifax, so you could sneak to Wild Brain and force them to renew your old show for a sixth season. Your mother is right. You're a master of trickery and need to be punished until you show us proof that you'll actually behave for good. But isn't me coming back and telling you that I've had a change of heart again proof that I really have had a change of heart? I really mean it this time. Kalu, go back to your room this instant. But... Caillou. We, we, we can't believe it. You've changed. You've actually changed. And we called you Kano because for some reason all these grounded videos on YouTube called you Kano and it got to our tongues. You made us remember how to pronounce your name too. You really have changed. I'm sorry I said you were grounded for millions of years. You stressed me out so much with your behavior that I didn't know how long to ground you for so I just grounded you for random millions of years. Which meant until you proved to us that you would behave yourself for good. That therapist, what he said, it changed my life. I can't thank him enough. I must quote him to everyone else. I must call Dora. I know this statement will change her life. Don't worry, I still have Elena's phone number. I can call her right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Kalu Andertu. Thank you everybody for coming, even if you were forced to come here by your parents. <laughs> anyway, we're here at the largest stadium in the United States, for as many troublemakers here as possible, who came for free, to hear a very short statement. But this statement, by Mr. Jason Maxwell, my therapist, is so powerful, so emotionally moving so strong that it can change almost anybody's life. Even if they don't misbehave, I really understand if you tried to get away. But even if some troublemakers have snuck off, we've made sure to have loudspeakers so this can be heard all over the city. And if you're at home, watching on TV, you'll have to force your troublemaker to listen. Because even if they won't budge, it will very likely change their life. Even if not at first. Even if it takes a while for them to think about it, it will eventually shift their heart for the better, and bring them to freedom, freedom from their evil side. Their evil side is their real enemy even if they try to ally with it and you will see why and now, here's my therapist. Are you ready, Mr. Maxwell? Who isn't ready to change the world? And now, here's the statement I said to Caillou, which changed his life. As required for all attendees, including adults, you are required to listen. It can change adult lives too. Mr. Jason Maxwell will now say his famous statement. If you don't work towards improving yourself, you'll go nowhere, and if you go nowhere, you'll be trapped for all eternity, and you will suffer there forever, going nowhere. <laughs>